Hello YouTube, I am unboxing and reviewing my old setup. This I got from my uncle, it comes with every uh comes with Alienware PCs. And this is what I was using before I got my Razer Mamba and my Razer Lycosa. Alright. So first let's take a look at the keyboard. These have already been unboxed, I'm just re unboxing it with everything in it, which really isn't much at all. We'll see here. Okay. The boxing is very plain. It just tells you a little information about it and tells you what's what's good with it. Um, give you some more details on the back, the specs on the back, which there aren't very many. It's just a regular keyboard. Alright, so now, let's take a quick look at this keyboard. This keyboard, you'll see on the back, that is two feet that come up, which is nice that it has that. Let's take a look at the profile real quick. The profile is very slim. Uh, I was using this video. I was using this keyboard for a couple months before I got fed up and got my good gaming stuff. Uh, all in all, this is a pretty good keyboard. It comes free, so you know it doesn't have any like anti-ghosting, like the like hosts or anything. It's just a normal keyboard. But the one problem I did notice about this keyboard is the buttons got stuck sometimes. That is very bad. It might have just been this because it was thrown around a little before I got it. But anyway, that is the Extreme Gear uh, keyboard. It's it's decent if you like if you don't have a lot of desk space. All right, so let's check out the Extreme Gear mouse. Op Extreme Gear optical mouse. Uh, PS2 USB. Um, it tells you a little bit about it. Right here in very small text, it tells you some specs. It's not bad. It's an 800 CPI, which is equivalent to DPI. Now let's check out the back of the box. It tells you all the specs about it. The features. The system requirements. Alright. So, now... Let's see what the mouse actually looks like. Alright. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Alright, so here's the mouse. The first thing I noticed about this mouse is the cable. The USB cable is extremely thin. Extremely thin. Um, the mouse size compared to if it it's pretty ergonomic it's, it's not a bad mouse uh, let's compare it to the Razer Mamba you can see it's a lot smaller than the Razer Mamba yet I think it's a it's that seems it's about a little bit smaller well so this mouse I had no complaints with except for it's just it's got a nice feel to it. You can hear the buttons. It's, they're very loud. They actually have some nice feedback, and th you can see a blue LED that glows blue when you plug it in. The scroll wheel does not light up actually, though. It looks like it would, but it doesn't. So all in all, I give the keyboard six out of ten, be just because the buttons got stuck and it would just be really frustrating and for the mouse I will give it a 7.5 out of 10 because it is a good mouse it's just not that great for gaming you can see the feet on it are not good alright well let's show 80 here with another video review please rate comment subscribe check out all my other videos check out my youtube channel um uh, uh, 
about subscribe. I really need some subscribers. You know, I'm coming out with a lot of videos lately. And if you want to know what's going on, just comment, subscribe, message me saying what you want me to review. I ha I have a little bit of cash, so I could go out and buy some stuff. Alright, see you later.